Remember when everyone used to have one of these or one of these blackberries? Now, no one has these blackberries, except for this guy. And you know what happens when I use this? They make fun of me. No, seriously, they, they really make fun of me. Are you using a blackberry? Seriously, where's your iPhone? And tweet sent. Wait till you read my tweet. Oh, oh, you've got that. But Blackberry's back, and they're totally reinventing themselves with Blackberry 10. That's their new operating system and their new phone, the Z10. And you know what? It's actually pretty cool. Everything you thought about Blackberry, you can forget. RIM has totally redesigned its Blackberry operating system and its phones. The Z10 doesn't even have a physical keyboard, although there will be a phone with a keyboard coming this spring. Here you have all your applications. It's very similar to the iPhone, but swipe to the left and you have your open apps or what they call active frames. Swipe one more time to the left and you're at the hub. The hub is your messaging hub. It's where you can see all your email and social media accounts, including Facebook and Twitter. It's a bit complicated, but you really do get used to it. The phone has all the main apps you'd expect, including BBM for messaging and then photos and video apps. Also, you know how the browser on the old BlackBerry was pretty much a joke? It's much, much faster on the Z10. In fact, it's just as fast as the iPhone or even an Android phone. RIM has also done a cool thing with the camera. The camera itself on the Z10 isn't as good as the one on the iPhone or the Galaxy S3, but you can use this cool tool called Time Shift, where you can actually select a person's best face. Okay, so the phone doesn't take as good of photos as I wish it did, but I do really like the rest of the hardware. The phone's really fast thanks to a dual core processor and two gigs of RAM, and it also has LTE, which makes it the fastest BlackBerry I've ever used. I also really like the 4.2 inch screen and how the phone feels on the back. But you will notice that there's no hardware keyboard, like some of the older Blackberries. Room has spent a lot of time on the virtual keyboard, and it's one of the best I've ever used on a smartphone. You'll notice that as I type, these little words come up over certain letters. That's because the keyboard is predicting what I'm gonna say. So I obviously like a lot of things about the Z10, but I figured I'd go and ask some of my elitist phone friends what they thought about it. All right, pretty cool. But what about like Instagram, Spotify? I mean, those are apps I use all the time. Yeah, those are not here just yet. Uh, they do have something called BlackBerry App World, but they are gonna get apps later than Android or iPhone. Can you get a cool wallet case like this? Uh, no, but you can get this cool battery pack. What about the map situation? Yeah, that's got its own set of issues as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a 3D view like Google Maps, and also it doesn't find all those points of interest. So I couldn't find a restaurant and I couldn't find ABC News yesterday. Mm. So why bother with BlackBerry 10 or the Z10? Well, it's the best BlackBerry out there, and I actually love the keyboard more than I like the one on the iPhone or Android phones. But there is the issue that this is a new operating system, which means the apps aren't there and the features just aren't as good as the rest of the smartphones out there. But you know what? I don't think they're gonna make fun of me as much when I carry this around. Got the new BlackBerry.